Hi, it's Laura at Hyper Stamper. I would love to show you this new antique book made into a junk journal. And we'll just remind everybody that everything I use inside my journals is authentic antique and vintage ephemera. I don't use any uh, commercial products, no replicas, fakes, printouts, digitals. I just, it's just not my style. And I have 350 million pounds of antique paper. So I get to use it all. Now this book is a lovely one called Aunt Jane of Kentucky. I used this vintage, it's actually a piece of a necklace. I actually have four more of these and I'm very excited to use them in the future. And I got some ribbons that match the design under the book here. And I love this big room. It looks like somebody put a big bowl on top of this book over the years. So let me take you on a little journey through this book that'll be going up on Etsy soon. Hyperstamper.etsy.com is my shop. And this one here, I love the original book plate in here that says this book is from the Library of Friendship Memorial to Robert Norwood. Isn't that beautiful? And I also love here, you can see where a bookworm has made its way through this book. Yes, bookworms are real. <laughs> and uh, yeah, up here and here. So I, I left it. I thought that was really cool, actually. And I, I pulled this wonderful few pages out of antique books and I just like the title of them. A little vintage stamp, another antique book page here. And this is the original first uh, plate under onion paper of the book, the original onion paper. And there's the original first page from 1907. Isn't that beautiful? Now, whoever owned this book uh, really, really loved this author. They clipped this article here from an old book. And I know that because I would love, I try to actually get it off without ruining it, but it's got a lovely image on the back there. And this is a uh, Carcassonne Castle, where I guess the author is either from or this story took place. And then you'll see a little bit more throughout the book here about the author and how much the person who bought this book loved this author. Now, this is a really important piece here. I found in the 1950s Theatre World magazine, and this is the Diary of Anne Frank, and I didn't even know it was a play. And because it was in the 50s, it was less than 10 years after the war. So a really, I think, historical piece of theatre work here. Here's a little, lovely little children's book page from the 1940s. And uh, this is antique book page here. I love that it says friend in need. Here is a bank note from March 1924. And here is an 1800s guards watchman uh, plate, dial plate. And that would have gone inside of a dial and it would have punched their time in it that they worked and slept. And then this is from a vintage book about antiques. So that was kind of fun, over 50 years old. And there is a lovely picture of the famous author, Jane Austen. And that is a very old plate as well there. Here's a plate out of a 1950s Polish embroidery magazine, just a lovely photograph there. And then here's a, a lovely vintage doily. And this came from a 1950s uh, music sort of a teen music book. We've got Doris Day here, Peggy Lee. Uh, what's happening to pop music and these wonderful uh, ads on the back? Now, I remember this song, Long, Tong Sal Long Tall Sally, and uh, the words to some of the songs from the 50s there. Pretty cool. And then this is just an antique book page here that is great for journaling on and has lovely little images on it. And look at this pretty postcard. Now it looks brand new because of the glossiness. It is not, it is actually quite old and uh, very cool. A little drilling spot down there, Daughter of the Land here. Another one of the other side of that children's book page. School book, a dog running through the snow. Here's more of the Theatre World magazine here. Um, this would be for tatting here, frosted flowers. And I've got this 1960, I think a 1960, oopsie. There we go. A little bit of glue there. 1968 Funny Bones piece. Yep, 1960s. That's a really fun uh, vintage piece there. And then I've got this really cool 1953 receipt here from Leo Michaud's Wholesale Provisions. And then on this side, we have Pearl's Shop receipt from the 50s and this wonderful Renoir plate here from a vintage art book. Love it. 
And then I've got a really old vintage playing card here. I know a lot of people love to upcycle them. There's some Monopoly money from the 30s. Uh, from the 30s here. This is from the 1920s from an English uh, children's book. With that hard fuzzy cardstock paper. And it, some little child over the last hundred years has colored in some of the things. Which I love. I love that. I love that the book was loved. And this is a handwritten piece of research uh, done uh, in a probably uh, anywhere between 1920 to 1940. It's hard to put a date on it. Um, this is just a little book I made out of antique paper scraps here. And just a great extra bit of journaling space. Here is an old photograph, which is really cool. These ladies on a picnic, look at them all with their hats and the old Coke bottles. It's, it's really, really a fun photo. I really like it. And this is a 1955 American Highways Road Map Atlas. Sioux City down here, Louisville here. Look at these, remember these? Did our grandmothers have these or what? And this is funny, a uh, little story about the turtle who got stuck on his back. And uh, just um, spoiler alert, the, the turtle's okay. The turtle makes it <laughs> with uh, lots of help from his forest friends. Uh, vintage botanical page, and this is an antique botanical page. Look at these gorgeous pieces here from the early 1900s. This is from the 1920s here. Whoops, upside down, the British Isles. I kept this for a very long time. I was going to put it in my Scotland journal coming up, but I have found another one uh, for that. So somebody gets to enjoy this one. Here's another wonderful uh, black and white botanical vintage page. And this here is really cool. So this is a vintage art book on Valesky. And then here are some of the pages and plates from the book. So I just thought that was a fun little addition there. And here is that piece I was telling you about the owner of this book. Cut this out as well. She really went all out. And collecting these things about the book and she had taped them inside the pages of the book. There's another one coming up too, some pretty crochet here, a vintage sewing book page. Here's another uh, plate from the pre-1910 and then this is the other page here. So she put it on the dedication page to my mother and father. I dedicate this book, Eliza Calvert Hall. She had found this photo, in, it looks like in a magazine and um, Eliza Calvert Hall is the author of the book. So I thought that was really cool. And so you can uh, journal on that or just, it's just nice that they, they get to be together forever. There we go, we'll tuck that back in there. And uh, an Aunt Jane of Kentucky, another blank page is there from the book. And just some wonderful vintage, and this is an antique page here. Look at that, it's that gorgeous, oh, so gorgeous. Vintage botanical book page. This is just a little, little flip here that I thought was really fun and nature and the child this is from the 1800s put some antique paper in there as well and that brings us to the end so hyperstamper.etsy.com I hope you enjoyed it and love it as much as I love making it come again